What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. I'm quickly gonna get this giveaway thing out of the way. So last week a subscriber sent us a brand new decibel meter and we decided to give away our old one with a t-shirt. So we said comment, there was about 700, close to 800 comments. What we decided to do was pick one and we pick someone that has been subscribing to us for over two years, comments on a lot of videos, not just that one. And uh, congrats to Michael Bacon. Uh, you're the winner, we're gonna send you that piece of, um, decibel meter and we're also going to send you a t-shirt we can sign that for you as well uh, so congrats now obviously a lot of you're going to be disappointed you didn't win it's okay stay subscribing we're going to do more in the future keep the comments coming because you too could also win something maybe something better who knows but enough of me talking let's get the video started is an auto. It is an 18, which means we have to send the trans control module out to each containers to be unlocked. I think it's 17 and newer. You need to have Maybe. it sent out. Uh, whatever. Either way, it had to be sent out. It'll take a little while to get back anyway, so we are doing heads cam valve covers on this one. Kind of the same as the last one. Yeah, uh, pretty much uh, the exact same as the last one. Heads cam, mammo, valve cover, style of body, injectors. Nice. Cool. This cool. thing's clean. We wanted like 9,000 miles or something like that. Uh, I don't remember. I think it does. I know the red one. That's heads only is a really low one. 6,000 or something. 4,000, yeah, I think. Yeah, Eric said it was like 5 or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of low mileage stuff. Yeah. PA car. And then it looks like Eric is. Getting close to wrapping up on the C6 ZR1. What else do you have left? Done. Yeah? Could be flashed. Nice. I'll flash it. Yeah, that would run great. <laughs> you want to give us a, before you uh, throw that one on, you want to give us a quick rundown what you did again? Uh, clutch, meth, supported blower, no fuel system. Oh, that's right. Meth, just meth. Yeah. Just came in, we had a little trouble uh, base lining it. Was breaking up real bad. Found out it had stock plugs. Found a couple of bad spark plug wires too. Oh, they were bad. A couple of them, yeah. Okay, all right. So we just do all MSDs and stuff. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. It was more than just one factor. So this thing will be going back together. Long corded blower. Already had a pulley. Check out Eric's handiwork here. 
looking like factory. Already had that intake. We did add a dual mat nozzle, so already had headers as well. Not an upper, right an intake. Yep. Cool. Enough control already mounted in the armrest. Saw that last time. Looks good. Rock slash quartered by Tong. Yep. 26 foot. Yes. As before, people are gonna probably be like, I thought Fran hated Battle Rock. I said before. LS version stuff. Their LT stuff is great. Yeah. For their 5.0 Mustangs, it's been great. Pretty sure it holds all the records for like all the 5.0 shit. For the LT stuff, it's been great. Does everybody thought we were bad mouthing Battle Rock? It's yeah. not the case. Mm. I think with the LS version, it was just like the first blower that they like tried building for like new this stuff, and they just missed. I mean, it just because it had a now ten years later after they have some R and D and they understand what works and what doesn't, they put out killer. Yeah. So yes, we still use them, yes. just not on LS stuff. We we'll use them all day on LT stuff. And in fact, we will be testing the first Edelbrock slash Kong 2650 for a C7 Z06. Ooh. Because what, they couldn't clear the hood and stuff before? Or I have it? no idea. I just know they're like just coming out now and I think we're getting the first one, so. It's good to see that they weren't so mad at our other video. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just it's honest. It sucks. I'm sorry, it sucks. I I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. You make it better, you make it good, I'll tell you. It's fing awesome. But if it's bad, I'll also tell you. I don't I'm not that guy. Yeah. Well it's also frustrating when we try to consult customers on builds and then we say, no, we wouldn't recommend that blower and they choose yep. to use it anyway. Well Bob on the internet said his cousin's brother saw one one time and it made eight hundred. Okay. I've used them, and they're not good. And people are talking about numbers. We had a video of us using one on it. Well, we didn't use it. Someone came in with one on a C6E, and it produced lower numbers than our heads can package. Forgot about that car, yeah? Yep. I would yeah, well, play a clip. Yeah, baseline to like 520 or something like that, 530. Right now the AITs are already 140 and it's pulling timing at that point. I haven't set the full timing at that point, but. So how much boost is it making? Seven. Almost eight, 7.9 does that say? Yeah. That's pretty terrible. It's a lot of boost for no power. I'd be pretty upset if I put a blower on my car and only picked up 60 horsepower. I mean, that has some of its benefits. Like there's not many roots blowers that will fit under like a factory hood. I know Edelbrock is one of them for an LS, but it has its disadvantages because blower height is where you get all the volume in the blower for their intercooler bricks and all that to cool and all that. And so when you try and compact it all, it just doesn't work. Right. But yes, long awaited video of the Edelbrock Concorded 2650. Kind of been hanging out. 
Fletcher hasn't exactly needed this thing. He's been living in Texas for the last month at his ranch. Hunting probably. I don't think he hunts at his own ranch, but probably just hanging out. Okay. But if someone else wants to hunt, yes. check out his ranch. Yes. He's got a badass ranch with some badass animals that if you want to go hunting at a nice spot. There you go. I'm not a hunter, but Eric is big time hunting, fishing, all that. I like guns, just, just don't hunt. Are, it, that's a different level of hunting too. That's like, that is a different like level of hunting. Expensive. That's yeah. like you're paying thirty, forty thousand yes. to go hunt to kill like an exotic animal type deal. Yeah, that's a whole different Why level. You dine you, film you, drink yeah, you, yeah, that's a whole different level of hunting. Yeah, it's not like you're just going paying a hundred dollars for a deer tag and killing yeah. a doe or whatever it is, but. I forget how many acres he told me it was, like 3,200 or something like that, like a lot. a lot. The place looks really nice too, but I mean, he's got some, like these are some that people, this is all on his Instagram page, but that people will get at his ranch. I mean, look at the size of these things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's always there. There's pictures of him with like some clients and stuff and sweet. Yeah, he's just been hanging out. Oh my Jesus. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what. You. That couldn't even fit in my house. Let alone, like, on the wall in my house. You couldn't even get that through the door. Oh, this guy is a. This guy's a racer. He's got an X275 car, I think. Yeah. Dude, you know what I want to do? Yeah, Gray. I want to do one of those, like, more things from the helicopter. I will, I would <laughs> love to do that. That would be yes. so sick. Yes. The hog they, hunts. They make it look so easy. Yes. It's very expensive, but I 100% will do that yeah. before I die. I think it's like five grand or whatever, but yeah, I don't care. Like it, I mean, helicopter flight isn't cheap either, the, pro so. the problem is like ammo super expensive yeah. and all that shit. So depending if you're shooting with like a 223, but I assume 223 is probably enough to take those things down. I mean, if you're shooting good. with like 308, it's like a dollar a bullet, you know. I don't know what it is now, but not cheap. Probably 60 cents, 70 cents a bullet, but. That would be pretty fun. That would be fucking awesome. different setup yeah some people love the way the pro charger sounds and idle and shit like that others might not some people idle. might want more top end some people might want one more low end it's just i just chose this setup for fletcher because i think this is what he would enjoy in this car yeah we get a lot of comments people asking us what blower is best there's no such thing as no being better than the other depends what you do with the car your driving style yep. i mean i just yeah it's all it all depends exactly so we'll see fletcher doesn't like this we'll put a pro charger on <laughs> it you know. <laughs> Man, i'm not sure what to say i don't think he's gonna not like having traction is the thing well, we have tires for it too, but it's uh, just a R888 or R or whatever. Still, I mean, 
It'll be better than like stock tire, but still, I mean, yeah, would you make 810 foot pounds of torque on pump gas? Yeah. That's gonna light them up. Probably, yeah. That's pretty badass. Yeah. I, I would rock that Yeah, so 890 horsepower and over 800 torque, too. And where the torque is, too. It's like. Yeah. People a lot of times compare peak to peak. They're like, well, the Pro Charger made 800 torque. Yeah, to you me, can't compare peak to peak. The thing is, Pro Charger will make, if you want like a 1,000 or 1,100, this blower won't be capable of doing that. This thing could probably make a 1,000. It, pr it could, it could, yeah, it could make a 1,000. Like, it could do it on the right setup, but you would just have to push this a little harder than you'd have to push your Pro Charger right. to, to do it. But different strokes for different folks. Exactly the info I was trying to get. Look at you. Oh my god. It only took three and a half years. Is that all you've been here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's put some E in it. So I'm gonna call that done. How much heat was that? Mm, it was a hot pull, but it was on 54%. Okay, that's pretty killer on 18-ish boost. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, I'm pretty busy. I can't put the window down. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> Backseat driver, you are the epitome of a backseat driver. Oh, Steve. no sh <laughs> I guess Steve has to. Oh, I got a sign too? Eric almost signed his real name, not a stage name. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over. I'm famous, I'm signing shirts and stuff. Dad, I'm locked in. No, hold on, I'm just going to I'm trying to off. <laughs> I really am. It's literally got child locks. What the hell? Oh, it's all in here. Turn it off. <laughs> it's probably electronic. It's probably a switch up there. That's how my car is. Not for the locks. Yeah. They all are electronic now. There's no switch in here. Try it now. Yep. It was electronic. Too. It's for the windows, and I guess it does the doors at the same time. Yeah. Ultimate daily driver. Done. saw it spinning, shift, spin again. Yeah, and that was like rolling into it yeah. like this. You can hear it. 
That was what, 130? Oh, I mean, you can see green is mile an hour. So you can see it goes up to 108 and then back down to like 107. And then like up here, 128. And it kind of, you can see the line. Yeah. It should just be like a steady climb, but it's up and down. And so that's spinning there, yeah. Yeah. I want Me too. I'll buy it when he wants to get rid of it. <laughs> God. Off already? Damn, Matt. You do eight of them in a row, you start to just. The Golden Boy is back. And of course, 5 30 cam time, as usual. Although it's a Monday, not a Friday, so there's that. Eric's got himself his next project. Is this the like 5,000 mile one? Uh, I can't remember what the mileage were. <laughs> I think it's been a while since you're both doing heads cam C6Zs. Well, this is just heads. Oh, is it? Yeah, heads oh. only. Well, well, I guess it's still gonna be a little while. <laughs> Eric got the cake one. 